when we start the show, I'll come out here and discuss my thoughts on something. But today I want to try something a little different. I, I do try to keep up with the news, but lately yeah, I just haven't had the chance. So I thought I would catch up on what I missed. The writers are going to give me part of a headline, and I'll try to guess the rest. Now, we've done this once before, but I got them all wrong. <laughs> Hopefully this time I do a little better. Should we try? Yeah. All right, let's do it, let's do it. First up, a guy in Rhode Island was arrested after he got drunk and crashed into A, a truck full of glitter, <laughs> B, a parked police car, or C, a gathering of the juggalos. <laughs> I mean, I hope it wasn't that one, because not only do you go to jail, but then you have to listen to their music, you know? Um, I want to say A, the glitter? Oh. Okay, so the actual answer was B. He crashed into a parked police car. What? Okay, the only way to be more efficient is just to drive straight into jail. I mean, who does? Okay, next up, next up. Okay, here we go. Redemption, redemption. Next up. A movie theater in Washington had to close after a package was accidentally sent to them containing something. Is it A, an extended edition of the movie Cats? <laughs> I hope not. B, rocket launchers? Or C, contagious urine? Oh, it was con uh, I'm gonna go with B, rocket launchers? <laughs> the actual answer was C. What? The theater was closed after they received a package of contagious urine. Okay, wait, is contagious pee that thing where my friend has to pee and then I immediately have to pee after? Yeah. Okay, next headline. Here we go, here we go. I feel good about this one. A Florida man was arrested for bringing a loaded gun to the airport, which was extra weird because A, he carried it in his hat. B, they found it in his butt. <laughs> I hope it's that one. Or C, it was the second time this month. I kind of want to go with the butt. Let's do B, but. <laughs> okay, let's see what it was. C, oh, it was the second time this month. <laughs> but I guess that's what you get for giving him back his gun. <laughs> Third time's a charm, man. Take the hit and use your butt. Come on. Okay, next. Okay, so far, all wrong. <laughs> Yay. Next headline, please. Here we go. Wild turkeys are taking over A, my Instagram page, B, a New Jersey neighborhood, or C, my friend Amber, who is going through a breakup and loves wild turkey. <laughs> I mean, well, Amber does love drinking wild turkey, but I think the answer is B. <laughs> okay, let's see the real headline. B, wild turkeys are taking over a New Jersey neighborhood. Oh, you know, it's just nice to see a story from New Jersey that doesn't involve a mafia Don being gunned down in his car. <laughs> Good for you, New Jersey. Good for you. <laughs> All right, next up. Man gets really stoned after A, he huffed 14 permanent markers, <laughs> B, drinking McDonald's sweet tea, or C, he broke one of the Ten Commandments. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Unless thou shalt not get really stoned is one of the Ten Commandments. I don't think it is also. I don't think it's C. Uh, I'm going to go with B. Hey! That's the answer. A man got stoned after drinking McDonald's sweet tea. I mean, that makes sense. Everyone at McDonald's is stoned. <laughs> Have you ever seen the original Happy Meal Gang? Definitely created by a stoner. <laughs> All right, our last news story tonight. A man told police that the wind blew a bag of cocaine into his car. <laughs> he was from A, Florida, B, definitely Florida, <laughs> or C. Seriously, how in the world could the story not be about someone from Florida? <laughs> this was a tough one. I'm going to go with Florida. <laughs> Yes, he was indeed from Florida. The only thing that would be more Florida is if an alligator mud wrestled a meth head while drinking orange juice. <laughs>